Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to French versus American homes, eight differences, American things you'll never see in France. I mean, differences with American homes for starters, I know obviously they're bigger. You tend to have a lot more space between your house and like the next or neighbor's house. Obviously there's different areas. Some like inner city areas, the houses will be all cramped together like they are in the UK. But the difference is the UK is the majority of homes here are like that like a good 80 percent of homes are just all basically connected and small and yeah it's just how it is but um in terms of other differences i'm not too sure i feel like french homes are definitely a lot more similar to british homes and just european homes in general will be a lot more similar because i guess it's just the style of the homes and all that sort of stuff um and just how they've, they've planned like the cities and they've just had all the cities cramped all the homes cramped together but we're going to check this out and see the differences and there's definitely more that i'm not thinking of but um that's pretty much it let's check this out and see some of these differences welcome back to unintentionally frenchified i'm officially on august vacation in the u.s and i thought it was the perfect time while i was getting to shop at target go to the wait she's american but oh so i guess she's an american student in france but she's back in the u.s i guess she sounds very American, so I'm kind of confused. Grocery store in the snack aisle, getting to wear my workout clothes everywhere, that I'd also do a video about American homes in the US. I always notice when I come back certain things or accessories or functionalities of American homes that we never see in France. Before I start the tour, I want to just take two minutes to talk to you about the amazing sponsor of this video, Lingoda. Secure, secure, secure that bag, get that money, baby. Um, this video is quite old, I think, so it's not really in play, but... Because she's really securing it, like, come on. So I wanted to start Ow. outside because it is very convenient things about American homes that I don't see in France. It has to do with the post office, which is not my favorite part of France. The post office has made me cry numerous times. But what's so great in the U.S. is that with your mailbox, you, of course, the mailman drops off letters. But if you want to send letters, all you have to do is open the mailbox, oh. put in your letters. What? So you put your own stuff in here as well that you want to send off? How often does the... I guess she's going to say... I'm just going to say, how often does the mailman come? That's pretty cool. The fact that you get to send stuff off as well as take things. Like, obviously, like allow things to go in there as well. is pretty cool. I just thought you just basically... Whatever you get sent, letters and stuff, goes into this. I don't think... I didn't know you could send stuff off. That's very convenient. And then you just raise the little red flag. Oh, and it that's what it's for. Tells the postman that you want him to pick up the letters that are inside. It's very convenient. Wow. And I know in France, they're starting now where you can choose a time, tell the post office, leave something inside, etc. And plan like a whole appointment to get your mail picked up. But I think it's kind of nice that you just have this nifty arrow. That Behind cool. me you can see some of the neighbors houses next to my mom's house. I always feel like I've made it home to the Midwest when I drive up and there are no fences or walls or things blocking the front yard. In the U.S. where I'm from you can't really see inside people's backyards but the front yards tend to be really open. That's not to say that sometimes you won't see fences, but usually you can see what's going on in people's front yards. As you can see the three neighbors behind me, there are no fences. I mean, I guess it's all of community, right? Everyone knows everyone here. I wouldn't like that. I like my own privacy, but at the same time, I don't talk to my neighbors. And I actually don't have a garden at the moment in my apartment, so I can't really say that, but I would love to have a fence. I would have a fence to have your own privacy and do whatever you want. I mean, I say do whatever you want. And it's not like you're going to get up too much in your garden, but I guess just it's all part of the community. Maybe if I was in this one of these communities, I'd be a lot more used to this, right? In their front yard. One of the things that I feel like is typically American as well when I drive up or I come to homes in the US is that there tends to be a lot more cars versus the number of people who live in the house. So you can see here that there are two people that live at my mom's, but they have one, oh, two, two three. three, four cars in the driveway, and all four, four. of those cars are their own cars Damn. and in france i tend to find that a lot of times there's one car for two people or maybe you've got one car for one person and, and you know one car for the other but there's not two cars for each person no. this tends to be very american so as i walk Damn. into the house you can't feel it the same way that i can but there is oh they've got a nice house look at the view that they've got jesus first of all a golden retriever it's pretty pretty american say hi piper 
Say hello to everyone. It's also the blasted, cold, icy air that I'm feeling right now as the air conditioning takes over. I am, for one, very jealous. I've said this every video in the last three years. Just having that, it's getting to summer now. It's starting to get warm. It's 21 degrees today, which is probably the warmest it's been for six, seven months. Which isn't, it's not hot. It's just warm. Um, but, like, when it's going to get to, like, like, high 20s to low 30s, having the AC on when you come in home, it would just be so nice. But it's it's not it's not how it's meant to be there is so much air conditioning in the u.s i have personally maybe been in one home in france that actually has air conditioning yes we, there's air conditioning in offices there's air conditioning in restaurants in grocery stores but when it comes to people's actual homes they tend to live without air conditioning and in the u.s air conditioning is in almost every home that i've ever been in and it is blasted so in terms of the difference of temperature outside and inside it's huge the next thing i'm going to show you is maybe the most my most favorite thing about american homes that i wish we had in france look at this and view. it's actually part of the windows which sounds kind of weird but if i open up this window you guys will see that there is a screen yeah, again, I'm so jealous of this. I don't know why we don't have this. I know in the US you probably get a lot, you get much more extreme insects. Like you get like like genuinely dangerous spiders or whatever, maybe big hornets. But why we wouldn't have a screen, I don't understand. Like I would love to have my windows open 24 seven in the summer because it gets so hot. But last year, because I, I left it open so much, we ended up getting so many spiders in our house and I cringe so much like to the point where they would be crawling on our bed in the middle of the night. Like I'm about to fall asleep and I feel this little tickle on my feet and this is it's just this fucking spider on my feet. Oh, I just cringe thinking about it because obviously you don't have AC and then at night time it gets humid. You want to have a bit of cool air and you can't really do anything to stop the bugs coming in. And I don't know why we don't have these things. It just, it just baffles me. When we went to Romania, um, they had these on the windows. My girlfriend's dad had these all over the windows because of mosquitoes and stuff. But why we don't have these, I will never know. But I did get sent one and I couldn't use it because it didn't fit in my window because my windows are built differently. They open wide. They don't open like shutters, which is a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Dun, da, 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 on the window. So a screen pretty much lets us open up the window, get some fresh air in here when the air conditioning is not on, and it keeps out the mosquitoes, the bugs, the flies, etc. In France, I have never seen a screen on a window, guys. We have flies that come into our apartment in Paris, we have mosquitoes during the summer, and I think it's so convenient and so nice, and I just don't, I have never ever seen one in a French home. So you'll let me know in the comments below if you have, but these are not Jealous. very common, and when I see them, I'm like, <sighs> We are in the US. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is in the kitchen. And this is another one that I think is very convenient and that we don't, I've never seen in France before. So here we are at- This is gonna be the garbage disposal. I've never actually seen them in work in real life. The sink, and not only is the sink really massive and I don't see that as- That is huge, that's like a baby bath. That is massive. Often in France, like these really big sinks. And also the sink when you like turn it on, You've got this contraption here where you're able to move it, and then what? you're also able to. I mean, this is my. This must be like a bougie kitchen. Like they seem like they're pretty well off. I'm assuming not everyone in the US will have this sort of sink because the sink's massive. You got this. I don't I mean I don't know how to explain this this tap, but it's pretty cool. You can adjust the speed and stuff. Jesus, it's like a it's like a little small mini shower head. Change the type of water. This is not something I see as you know as common in France, but that's not really the big thing about the sink. The big thing is the garbage disposal. There we go. Almost every home has a garbage disposal. So pretty much you're able to put food down the sink and then you turn it on Where's and the it just there? blows all the food to smithereens. Up. And you don't have to put all of the food in the garbage. And I find that really convenient when you're cleaning and stuff. And I've never seen that in France before. Another difference is the amount of ice that Americans consume. And when I'm in France, of course, people in their homes do tend to have ice if you ask, but they don't tend to really have like <coughs> massive ice makers. And when you go to a restaurant, for example, yeah. in France, and you ask for ice, you get like two or three cubes. And when you go to the US, you have like an entire glass full of ice. Sometimes it's too much ice, if that could even be possible. 
And if you look at my mom's refrigerator, for example, you already have right here, you know, ice that you can get at the front of the refrigerator, which I see less in France, but you can find, of course, but also just the amount of ice. So if you look into my mom's freezer, not only do you have like a massive, massive like bowl of ice here for the ice maker, but not only do you have one there, but you also have a second one. So up here, there's also the ice. So she's got two different ice makers so that she never runs out of ice. I feel like that is something that you don't really see as often. I've never seen an ice maker in a fridge, period. So I don't know what I said, period. <laughs> I've never said period in my life, but I've never seen an ice maker in a fridge ever. And now I've just seen two in one fridge. Like bloody hell, man. And in France, but that doesn't really shock me too much. So one of the final things that is very typically American in homes is uh, we've got the good old couch over here and imagine that I'm having a very tired day and I want to relax at night and I want my feet up. Instead of putting my feet over here on this perfect ottoman, so for itself. I'm just going to lean over and I'm just going to recline my feet slow. See, my girlfriend's mom has a sofa like this but they are definitely not common. I've never been to anyone, another house that has the same sofa as this. And this is nice, you know, you can lay down because obviously the sofa's like, I've got just a, a basic little, what do you want to call it? Not an Ikea. Ikea? I think it is Ikea. Yeah, just a basic little Ikea. Yeah, Ikea is not the food shop. Ikea is the furniture shop. A basic Ikea sofa, pretty big. Can't change anything, you just got to lay down. But to be honest, would this be common in the US? Or is this just common for wealthier families? Because I assume these aren't cheap. But I don't know, maybe they are. Do they massage you as well? I mean, if they do, then fair enough. Yes, Piper, just reclining. Oh, but it goes back a little bit. And the then I'm just going to relax well. and watch my TV. Again, you guys are going to let me know in the comments below if you know why. But I feel like that is very typically American to be able to just recline my feet. And when I was growing up, they weren't electric like they are now. It was like a big old handle that you would pull back like this and then your feet would go flying up. But super comfortable and practical, but not something I see very often in France. Can you guess how many televisions we have in a home here for two people? I'm going to show you. Television yeah. number. That's a bit of a weird location for the TV. I mean, I guess maybe they don't use it that much. It was, is the TV connected from the outside? Is this holding the TV? No, it's not. What am I saying? This is holding up, up here. I thought this thing was connected to the TV. Oh, God. Um, this is a weird location for it, though. I mean, you're going to have to hold your head up a bit awkwardly. But again, maybe they don't care. They've got this around them. They probably don't care about the TV. They've got all this stuff to look at. God, this house is incredible. One. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number Jesus. five. And just in case one TV with the workout machines is not enough, <laughs> we've also got TV number six. And finally, TV number no, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> There's okay. no TV. And here, that's just all of the thermoses, the insulated cups that we have in the US. See, is this just, this isn't just the average US. And I'm now just thinking, is this just how everyone in the US lives? They seem, this seems like they've got, they're doing well for themselves. Because who needs this much, this many thermal cups? I mean, this is a good, what, 20 thermal cups, maybe more? No, but seriously, when it comes to TVs, there are a lot of TVs in lots of different rooms. And most of the time in the US, people have televisions inside of their bedroom, as well as in the dining room, as well as in the den, as well as sometimes in the kitchen. And in France, I really normally see one TV in the entire house. So I've got one TV, but to be fair, I've got three computer screens here. And sometimes I use these computer screens. I'll just be here watching the sport here instead because I can just get it, you know, online online websites you know you don't have to spend the money you know if you know what i mean so i'll just watch it on my computer instead but i've only got one tv because i just use my phone or whatever it is really anyway it's just as soon as i see lots of tvs in homes i just think yep this is the us all right guys that is a wrap damn you know what this this house was very nice i'm gonna assume this isn't just your typical us home because this does this definitely did seem to stand out here we go that is not a typical american house Far from it. Most people don't have two cars per person. Most don't have six television sets. Right, if people run the AC at about 76 to 78 degrees and use use ceiling or small electric fans. 
the main thing I noticed I went, went overseas is no dryers in homes. My friends in Australia and France, definitely upper middle class, dry the laundry outside on the clothes. Yeah. I've never used a dryer. I mean, I don't have a clothesline, so I just have to dry it inside the house, which is annoying, but it's the best I can do. This is the, this this must be an upper middle class house. Yeah, you're looking at you're looking at this, and this definitely stands out as a a house that wouldn't be your typical home. As a fellow American who lived in France, I agree with most things in this video, but most people I know don't have two cars. The only question I have is why all those televisions? <laughs> Fair enough, man. I mean, I, I, if I was, if I had this home, I'd be happy as well. But um, but your parents have a lot of TVs, ice, and cars, even for Americans. I would say most families have two or three TVs, one ice maker, and one car per adult. Realize that, except in dense major cities, you need to have a car to go anywhere. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. Let me know your thoughts on this. And do you think this is a fair comparison? Do you think this is a bit? Maybe this is an upper class French home versus an upper class American home but uh, yeah it's a nice home I guess it showed some of the gadgets that people would have it's just maybe to an exaggerated level but hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and until next time like subscribe and peace